Attention, ladies and gentlemen, Gungans and droids across the galaxy. This is your beloved Grand Admiral Arnold, director of the video gaming division here at the Galactic Empire. And as each and every one of you are funneling in to watch yet another video from the Grand Admiral, we're going to be talking about a little bit more about resistance hero Poe. Now, this guy that you see up here, we did a live stream the other day. If you have not seen it, click on the card in the top right hand corner. We're going to be going a lot more in depth on this character because he is doing some crazy stuff for the resistance. He can beat Darth Revan teams. He can kind of beat General Grievous teams here and there. He's beating Padme teams, destroys Geonosians. The only team that's kind of giving him a hard time is General Anakin Skywalker. So guys, buckle down because today is going to be a pretty fun video. The resistance for the most part has been kind of a eh type of fact. It's been basically your counter to boss teams for the time being. And in 3v3s, they really struggle. On my main account as well, over here, we already whaled them. We're going to be doing a lot of testing in Grand Arena when that starts to get uh, getting up and running. So stay tuned for some more testing of Resistance Hero Poe inside of that. But we're going to be using the test account over here today. But before we get started, because we whaled hard on Resistance Hero Poe, we have just one more sponsor of Raid Shadow Legends this month. Kill it in, Gary. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. And Raid Shadow Legends is sponsoring one more video this month in January. A totally free-to-play hero collector game that I've kind of shown you here and there over the past few months. And today's kind of a big one because they're hosting a very special Amazon Prime giveaway. All you guys got to do before January 26th is to log in with your Amazon Prime account on your mobile device. And as you see here, so long as you sign in before January 26th, you're going to be getting the brand new Epic Champion known as the Whisper. And these Amazon Prime jobs go beyond just this January. It runs through April and includes the Epic Champion Vala, Shards, Skill Tombs, XP Boost, Legendary Artifacts, Potions, and everything else you need to take on your rivals. And Whisper's going to be an all right character because her leader ability in this game grants 29% extra attack to your allies for dungeon events. And another cool thing is she has a chance of granting an extra turn so long as she's landing critical hits. And this is actually the perfect transition because dungeons is my absolute favorite thing in Raid Shadow Legends right now. And because of her leader ability, as we see right here, ladies and gentlemen, we were able to conquer one of the raid bosses in Shadow Legends. So if you want to play this game along with me, there are links down below in the video description. And if you're a new player, you'll get 100,000 silver, two clan boss keys, three ancient shards, plus one free champion, the Adjudicator. But be quick, because these awards are only available for the next 30 days. So we're about to go after this Relic 7 Sith Empire team right here. 324 speed, pretty respectable. But the reason why you might want to have BB-8 on here is because his he's fast because of the, having the droid synergy. So he's going to be the first one to go, and you're going to want a mod Jedi training rate. So she is going to be the second to start because she always gets Terminator every time bb is doing his little wiggle dance. Then I see this mistake being done by a lot of other people. You don't want Poe to be going before Finn. You actually don't really need to focus too much on speed for Poe. I put a little bit of speed on him, but really you want to make sure you're getting as much offense and potency on him and just a little bit of speed because over here, resistance hero Finn, he's taking care of all of your turn meter problems for Poe. You're going to want to have him go right after BB-8 and Jedi training Ray because the strength of will passes turn meter over the uh, uh, Poe, which grants him as well all the inspired bonuses. And this is going to be incredibly important because this buff immunity and stun capability slows things like Malak from taunting or Sith Trooper from taunting. So you're going to want to make sure you take the most out of this and hit those tanks. So let's go ahead and break down how this bad boy is going to work. And r 2 d is mainly here because his AoE is going to apply debuffs. And we have to talk a little bit about, about more of uh, Poe's unique ability. Keep in mind, all these debuffs that are going to be popping up here, once they expire, Poe is going to be doing 5% damage to their max protection. Okay, and his unique ability is going to be a little bit helpful. So here we go. You're going to have Ray go first. You're going to want to take off that taunt from the Sith Empire Trooper. The Resistance are going to get a lot of Terminator because of all the exposes going on. Now, I do not want to throw out the Burning Jesse because I don't want to trigger a taunt on Malak before I can land the buff immunity. What you're going to want to do is, at the beginning, just get R2D2, the stealth himself, so we can try to keep the insanity off of uh, Ray because if Ray gets hit with Darth Revan's insanity, everyone gets it. But luckily, we have Finn Zeta on his unique ability, which gives us kind of uh, a safe measure. In case we get fear or stunned, we're going to get a bunch of protection and turn meter if we have to end up skipping out on a turn so now 
what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to go start working on Bass Lashawn in a second. Hopefully, we can land some exposed. If we had C-3PO, the strategy would be a little bit different. I'll show you that in a second. We're trying to make this happen without it. Exposes, turn meters happening. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get a big hit over on Bass Lashawn Fall. And we're going to do this right here, get a, a, a crazy amount of damage right here. And keep in mind, this attack has plus 10% defense penetration, 5% critical damage uh, for each inspired ally. We don't have it yet, but we're going to now pass the turn meter over the pole. Big hit right there. And now we want to try to get that buff immunity over on Darth Malak. And look, Finn's almost ready for another turn. And because we have the Inspired, ladies and gentlemen, once he has Inspired, he dispels all buffs on the target enemy and inflicts buff immunity for two turns. And this ability cannot be evaded. So all the force right here really doesn't matter. So let's go land it. And we're going to give Inspired to Jedi Training Gray buff immunity. Perfect. That's exactly what we're hoping for right now. And now... We have this massive AoE ability. My hope and dream is that we can take out Bass Lashan because she has the exposed, and then we're going to get all attackers to assist. So hopefully we can get uh, Finn to assist on HK47 and start putting a number on him. So here we go. Popping up the AoE, and oh, looks like she just barely survived, but it's okay. Luckily, Jedi Training Raid got another turn. This is a 324 speed Darth Revan. It's It's not slow by any stretch of the imagination, but it's just taking him a long time because there's so much turn meter. With the Jedi Training Gray lead, I'll have to show you the leader ability to kind of refresh your memory because Jedi Training Gray hasn't really been a part of the meta for so long. And now they're just finally getting the fear. And look at that. We just massive swarm the Sith Empire Trooper, and he was done for. You really don't need to worry too much about this character. And because of Finn Zeta, which is going to be crucial for taking on these Darth Revan teams, even though Darth Revan got his fear and all that, we got so much turn meter, and we just kind of regenerated a bunch of protection back. It looks like they didn't even hurt us yet. Darth Malik's kind of sitting around like a chump right now. And uh, now this we can't remove any turn meter because of how the Darth Revan team operates. But because of awesome debuffs being resisted, we should get a lot of turn meter. Boom. Jedi Training Raids, almost ready for another turn. Hit the exposure because we have inspired. We should be able to apply vulnerable, which guarantees critical hits. And we're going to pass Terminator back over the pole. Watch. Boom. Pose ready to go again. Let's get a big hit over here. Boom. All right. And I mean, look, we're about to win this battle with full health and protection for the most part. And what I'm going to do here is let's land a healing immunity over on Malik. Malik will definitely hurt us a little bit, but we should be okay. We're going to get BB to, to assist here. Boom. Can't land a stun just yet. Hopefully, we get a couple counterattacks. Ladies and gentlemen, we don't even have the new Ray just yet. And this is with an old Jedi training Ray. And these guys, with their damage, Terminator swaps, all their inspiration going on, we're able to take out a, a, a Relic 7 a Darth uh, Revan and Malak team. Yeah, you're most likely going to lose at least one character. But so long as these guys are alive still, we should be okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, pass the inspiration. Remember, uh, when Poe's inspired, he can always pass ins inspiration to someone else. All right, let's see if we can get uh, BB-8 to do his thing. We're going to get Finn's uh, unique ability to trigger here. Watch Poe and see what happens here. Let's see if we can land a stun. No stun right there. Let's, uh, let's try to get uh, Poe up and running here. Now watch. Boom. Unique ability kicked in. There we go. Illuminated Destiny. And we're going to throw the AoE up here. Boom. And ladies and gentlemen, Jedi Training Ray without c 3 Really, none of these characters are taking away from anything. RT2 is not really needed for any team nowadays. BB-8, the only thing you might need him for is for the Grievous Nuke team, and that's kind of not being seen as much anymore. Still, it might be something to consider if you are a very uh, frequent user of the Grievous Nuke lineup. So very, very impressed to see how this kind of operated. Let me just, again, just refresh your memory because we kind of rushed into that battle. We're getting all this extra critical chance critical damage when we're landing critical hits we have a chance to apply exposes and the resistance allies gain 10 percent turn meter when an enemy is exposed and that's why our resistance was able to run circles around darth revan it is incredibly difficult for darth revan to outrun this tree right here bonus turn meter between these guys giving bonus turn meter to jedi training ray getting all the exposes we get we can set up before they do anything finn's unique ability we talked about this many many times this should not be a surprise if you've been following the channel for a while and the the top level theory crafting here with this unique ability i said this has to be some future counter to Darth and Amalek, and indeed it is. Getting 40% health protection of 40% turn meter when you're getting fear or stuns, that's like screaming, I want to screw over Darth and Amalek. So let me show you the easier route. I mean, that already looked pretty easy, you might be saying. Well, it gets a lot easier if you could spare c 3 p because he has extra confusion mechanics which allows you to control taunt. And he's got mass assist capabilities, which is great for trying to get more exposes on the field because you're getting all the assists coming in. Of course, more damage, more confusion, a lot of great stuff with C-3PO. So let's start the battle off. And again, when you're doing these battles, you have to, have to, have to, have to control the taunts or else you're wasting your time. If these guys aren't controlled, don't start focusing down on anyone. Pulling off the taunt, 
Very, very good right there. Now, you can do one of two things as C-3PO. You can do a mass assist over on Sith Empire Trooper, try to get some critical hits, exposes, therefore Terminator, or just use a basic over on Darth Malak. What I'm probably going to do here is let's just use our basic right here on Darth Malak. Confusion. He's not going to be taunting. Now, what we're going to do is get uh, C-3PO to assist, and he's going to get uh, a, 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 a Confusion over on Sith Empire Trooper. Beautiful. Not going to be taunting anytime soon now we're going all in over on bassless sean fallen passing the terminator over the post so he gets inspired now we really don't have to use our buff immunity at this point we could just go ahead and try to blow out uh bassless sean fallen because keep in mind we can't have this ability be evaded so here we go past the inspiration over there looking good now we can throw up our aoes and not worry as much because malik cannot taunt if we critically hit him so we're hopefully going to get uh poe and finn to assist it should be pretty good let's go for it boom Ladies and gentlemen, once you get this, once you get the taunters under control, they are useless. This team, the reason why it's working, in case you're trying to understand, it's mainly because this team has a, it's able to quickly control the tanks at the very beginning of the game. So we're gonna worry about HK47 next. Sith Empire Trooper, you don't have to worry about him at all. Between his AoEs and him attacking, you're just gonna counterattack out of the water. Pay attention to Poe, he's gonna get a bunch of turn meter and garbage like that because he's gonna miss out on a turn. Let's just go ahead. We have no corrupted battle meditation. That's another reason why you wanna take out Bassa Sean Fall. We wanna try to get as much confusion uh over on them there we go we're gonna probably lose poe there that's all right once we get uh once we get bass the shot out of the picture it's a lot easier to win at this point i mean we just gotta probably whoop, he's gone <laughs> and we'll just do this i don't want to critically hit malik until we can set up a, a nice little uh, assist right here there we go let's go ahead give the uh, uh, translation over the fan let's try to max out all the confusion stacks and then we'll pass the term meter over the ray pushes our let's try to get some uh, ability blocks going beautiful 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 Ladies and gentlemen, resistance. I've been, we've been talking about this for a while. Even before Poe came out, I said, keep an eye on this team. It's gonna soon be a Darth and Darth Malik counter, and this team is not even fully completed yet. You have not seen their full power just yet. This isn't even their final form. <laughs> so now we're gonna go up against Padme. Padme is a little trickier of a team. I honestly think Padme is probably the second most difficult team, maybe third diff most difficult team to beat in the game. She's more difficult to beat than Darth Revan in my opinion right now, especially when C-3PO is in the mix because he kind of counters a lot of debuff stuff. If you see C-3PO here, you're going to be in for a little bit harder of a time compared to other things like Yoda or R2-D2 or whatever. Here's what we're going to do. Luckily, we're much faster than Padme. That's just the nature of how the team works. We can get Jedi Train Ray to quickly get an ability block. Now, we're also going to be able to control Kenobi's taunt. And I'm going to try to go all in on Jedi Knight Anakin. Now, keep in mind, one of the biggest downfalls is you cannot remove turn meter from a Padme Amidala team, but it shouldn't really matter too much. And luckily, because of how this team works, boom, we can get rid of Jedi Knight Anakin really, really quickly. But now they're going to start doing their things here. So we got to be a little bit careful with how we're going to work. Jedi Knight Anakin's obviously the first uh, time bomb. You got to take care of her. But Padme Amidala, she's kind of the second. She alone can do a lot of work here. I'm not going to do a mass assist right here. Pass over to Terminator to Poe. And hopefully Poe is going to get something done here. We're going to go. Let's do this. We can't really apply any debuffs over there. We can't inflict days or staggers. So we're going to just throw it over on Ahsoka Tano for right now. Let's refresh the inspiration over on Rey. Pulling off the taunt on Jedi and General Kenobi here. Let's even get a mass swarm attack over on Ahsoka Tano. And boom! Oh, not quite enough. Not quite enough. That uh, Those uh, attacks on a turn are kind of hard to calculate sometimes. Luckily, we got a foresight in our in our in their way. So Padme missed a big opportunity right there to do something. Try to get the turn meter going. Um, you know what? Uh, no sense. You know, let's, let's just do it for the heck of it so you can see. You can still apply at least healing immunity over on the team doesn't really stop him too much uh we're gonna just do this for the heck of it let's just go give this over to finn let's try to get a couple of attacks out there we can do a little bit of work pass it over to poe who in turn will hopefully get a buff me there's no uh there's no uh what's it called uh, there's no uh protection up for the time being so we're gonna go give this over to ray perfect and now we should be able to work on ahsoka tano uninterrupted boom but oh, a little bit of a unique ability kicking in from padme amidala but in a second we're gonna get the fireworks flowing and i think we should be good to go at this point. I mean, everyone's basically got the maximum amount. Of, let's give it to Ray here. Uh, that should take care of her. Uh, you know, the mass assists are always so tricky to kind of figure out. Boom, they're gone. Let's go ahead and apply some debuffs over there. Get some inspiration over here. So, whoa, geez. Woo. We just beat a Padme Amidala team. They're a relic of five, six, and sevens on this team with Jedi training Ray. 
this team i've been saying it i have a feeling resistance uh are gonna end first order hopefully potentially resistance is a lot more impressive than first order right now i'm thinking resistance whenever we finally get this last raid right here ray skywalker jedi ray whatever it might be i'm expecting this team to go to a whole other level and i'm predicting we're probably going to get at least one other uh re resistance tank of some sort maybe this will be an attacker and i'm thinking a chewbacca tank might be in the works somewhere but keep your eyes peeled guys because the results you're seeing right now can only probably get better with whatever's going to be coming in the near future so ladies and gentlemen that's going to wrap it up for today thank you all so much for watching like if you did enjoy the video comment down below and your thoughts will resistance to finally see that spark we've been looking for and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing and i'll see all you lovely people in the next video peace out everybody